on a really hot summer afternoon when you exhaust out the heat, you feel to take some really really cold. So this is a recipe of Telangana coffee for you guys to drink. So let's start off. First off, you need uh, three spoons of hot water. So let's get our three spoons of hot water in there. One, two, and three. Now next up, three spoons of sugar. This is an equal amount. If whatever ingredients you put into it, all of them have to be equal. One, two, and three. And as it's Telangana coffee, it's gonna kind of taste bitter. So I'm gonna go ahead one more spoon of sugar. Next up, Nescaf coffee powder. You guys can get it in any shop anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and put three spoons of Nescaf coffee powder. One and two and three. Now, one of my favorite parts in all of my recipes is to whisk the mixer. So you can either use the hand mixer or the manual one which I like to go. So now you just have to mix it really well. Okay now let's on this. Of mixing my mixer, it's, it, it should look something like this. It's gonna give you a light color, but then you gotta, guys, still gotta keep on whisking it. You you have to get a firm type solution out of this, so let's continue. So at this point, after mixing it, this is the final product you get. So look at how creamy that is. You take some, it has to come out like that. This is a really easy, easy recipe. You guys have to try it out in your house. It's really easy. Nothing to be easy about this. For a person like me, this is very easy, so it should be easy for you guys too. So, got a creamy substance. Now, get a spoon outside, and it should look something like this. That's, so, that's it. That's the substance you get. Now, the next thing is to put it in a serving cup and serve. Okay, so after making my mixer, the next thing is all the steps which I do from here, it's kind of optional. So I'm making a chocolate alagona. So I'm gonna go over there and add a bit of Hershey's into it. Okay, now that I've added some Hershey's into it. Next up, add some vanilla essence to just give it that extra taste. So you might have wondered what this is. This is my whipping cream, okay? So you can either get it from the store or So in store you might get it in the liquid format. So you have to whisk it to get a good amount, like thick, this one. So now, I'm gonna give it a good mix for my telagona. And so the final result should look something like this. With the chocolate sauce and everything, it will look like this. So, now let's assemble everything to our cup. Now let's assemble everything. First off, some milk. Now let's pour the milk to about a half, somewhere right there. Next up, close it up. Get our telagona. This is a chocolate type. So if you were to make the normal one, you wouldn't have to add the chocolate syrup into it. I put my telagona mixer now for the whipping cream. Let's put it on the side. Filling up the top with it. And there we go. This is what we call chocolate telagona. Now we put the whipping cream to a side. Get our spoon, put it in there. And that over here, boys and girls, is how to make chocolate telagona. Please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Everyone should try this out. It's really easy, easy, easy.
see recipe on how to make it. So uh, I hope you all try it out and like. And see you guys in the next one. This is my brother who works behind all of my camera shots and helping me take everything, editing and whatever it is. So I brought him forward so he can taste my drink and tell you guys how good it is. Hi, my name is Joshua. I'm gonna taste this drink and I'm gonna tell you guys how it is. It's amazing, you have to try it out. It's really good. You can taste the flavors lined up in the 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 mixture, everything. So hope you guys like it. Uh, like uh, subscribe and like and turn on the notification the bell side and bye. See you in the next video. See you.